with another video and this time I finally managed to sit down and do a proper sit down video. As we all know, Rihanna has just launched her makeup line, Fenty Beauty, and basically I was freaking excited about this. And the sad story is the launch day on Friday morning, I was supposed to go to Harvey Nichols, get a first look at it, but it was at 7 a.m. and I actually, I overslept which is terrible. To make myself feel better, I went straight online to Harvey Nichols and I ordered myself 10 products from the collection. And I have to say, I was really surprised when I went online at how affordable it was for a makeup line by a celebrity, basically. It's not drugstore makeup or anything like that. It would be considered on the higher end. So I think I spent about 250 pound. But anyway, I bought a bunch of things, open everything up on camera with you. Oh my god. I bought two foundations because I couldn't figure out what shade I would want. I got 210 and 250. And then I bought a primer and then I bought the lip gloss and I bought a bunch of other things. I think we'll start off with the primer. So normally I don't use a primer, right? But I just thought, you know what? Let me just try a primer. Let me try like a new primer, but I never normally go for primers whatsoever. Um, this is the packaging. Huh. This is what the primer looks like. That's very... I'd... It's like a really sophisticated candy. I gotta be honest with you, whatever I think about the primer, don't take my word for it because I'm not a primer person so I wouldn't really know. Um, so far this smell vanilla-y. Feels basically just like a moisturiser. By the way, I've, I'm breaking out like crazy. Um, because it's the time of the month, so <laughs> TMI, sorry. Primers on, so far so good. My experience with primers before and the reason I don't really like to wear them is I feel like when I start rubbing my face, like it comes off in like bits, but so far this just feels like a really lightweight moisturizer, which I guess is a good thing. Really look at the packaging because I'm quite excited by that. That's just given me inspiration for an outfit. On to the good shit. The foundations, let's just open them up and see, you know, the colouring. By the way, the outside packaging is pretty nice as well. They've got a sponge and just gone with some black ink, which is lovely, really. Here it is. Fenty Beauty on the front there. And on the back it says Shake Well. This is shade 250 and now I'll just take shade 210 out. So online there is like a foundation chart where you can try and match your shade just by kind of looking. And I think I looked through the medium tones to get these two. 210 is clearly a lot lighter and 250 is a lot darker. Just without looking at the actual product, I'm actually not gonna try 210 because I think it's way too light for me right now. So I'm gonna try 250 and I'm gonna shake it really well, just like it says on the box. Here you go. Ooh, it's very runny, it's very liquidy, very runny. Don't know if you can see that, but that is the color right there. Are you ready, guys? I'm not, I need a goddamn mirror. Where's the goddamn mirror? Here it is, okay. Oh shit, is this too dark? Oh shit. Guys, let me be honest with you, I haven't worn a full face of makeup since about six weeks now. And I mean like full face, like foundation, everything. I've just been doing a bit of concealer. Um, so actually it's not too dark. It's blending in with my skin tone quite well, I feel like. Okay, let me just work this in a bit. It's a very, um, Okay, so I've just put like a squirt on this part of my face and um, I don't want to say anything just yet, but it set very quickly and um, blended in like also very quickly. I don't want to speak too soon yet, so I don't want to praise anything just yet. <laughs> yeah, now on my own. This is blending in like crazy. Wow few dabs and it's literally blended in mate there's no streaks okay hold up hold up let's do me midsection including me nose god damn i did not expect this like i know everyone's been raving about this like in fact i don't think i've seen one bad review no i haven't i have not seen one bad review but I really did think people were maybe just like licking ass a little bit, potentially. It is Rihanna, you know, most people would lick. What am I saying? But I can't lie to you, 
that shit is looking freaking good right now. This shade is slightly more on my tanned kind of side, definitely. Guys, it's blending in like crazy, man. It's blending in so good. I don't want to get anything on my eyebrows. Well, well, well! Right, let me do some forehead. I'm just gonna put the tiniest bit on my forehead because um, I have no reason actually, just because. This foundation is a soft matte foundation and let me tell you, that is so matte. Like you can see the shine is reducing the more it sets. Can you see that? Like I put it on and it was quite wet first and it's set. It says medium to full coverage. This is, this is pretty full coverage. I am definitely not putting on a second layer. I don't need any more than this. Let me just go look in my big mirror. Just, just give me a second. Oh my God. It looks way better in this mirror. Shit. Wow. Guys, I think this foundation is amazing. It's making me really excited to like finish my full face. Oh, how cute. Look, blush pink color. I do love some blush pink. That is cute. Oh, I also got the blotting powder. There's a mirror in here. Let me use the mirror in this instead. So I bought the Matchstick Trio in medium. It's conceal, contour, and highlight. So let's just go in and do that. Oh my God, they're magnetic. Look. Oh my God, that's sick. Oh, I love, I love. Look at that, Fenty Beauty. Right, okay, um, let's start with the concealer. This is Matchstick Bamboo. Oh, that looks a bit dark, but we'll have to use it because I didn't get another one. Oh no, it's not dark at all. It's way lighter than my actual foundation, so that works. Oh, let's see how much we get before I continue. Ooh. This is how much you get, guys. I've seen Products on the market that give you about half that. So, not bad. I'm not gonna do too much concealer to be fair. I'm just gonna do a little bit. Because I feel like this foundation is gonna be the star of the show, my friends. The star of the goddamn show. Literally, how pretty is the packaging though? I mean, by the way, the concealer is a lot um, thicker consistency to the foundation, which is obviously standard for concealer. This is a pretty good match for me though, isn't it? Let's just talk a little bit about the Fenty Beauty campaign and how bloody inclusive it was of women. Okay, so maybe, you know, maybe we're gonna be a little bit biased being Muslim women wearing hijab. She's pretty much the only person to feature a hijabi woman in her makeup campaign. Um, the only major, major celebrity to do that. Um, and I think for that, Rihanna gets a bloody gold medal already. So, you know, it just tells you that she ain't playing no games. She basically, she has stuck, okay, so far, right? I've only tried two products, right? But so far I can tell this woman has studied the makeup market. She knows, she knew what not to do. You get me, you feel me? And so far, so freaking good, my friend. So far, so freaking good, my friend. Look at that concealer, mate. Look at that concealer. I haven't even set that shit. Shall I set it with my regular, pa should I just, I'll just set it. Ah, why should I set it? Shall I set it? No, I'm not gonna set it. I ain't gonna set it. Now I'm gonna go in with the contour, which is called Mocha. Guys, I'm in love with the packaging, not gonna lie. I really like the packaging. Dark light, that's quite... No, I probably would go for that shade. It's maybe a bit too dark for me. No, it's not actually. Right, so when I contour my nose, I literally nowadays have just been doing the bottom and a little bit at the front, but like nothing else. Just, just a little bit. Not too much, Dina, because so far the base is freaking flawless and I don't want to ruin it with anything. Enough is enough, Dina. Don't ruin that bloody gorgeous base. Am I seeing things? Right, let's use the brush. <laughs> well, that did its job quickly. Did it? Did that do its job? Am I seeing things? Yes, that did its damn job and it did it damn quickly. I'm just going to my big mirror again because I can't quite believe the ease and the flawlessness, so I need to confirm it in my big mirror. <laughs> Do I believe it or do I not believe it? That is the base so far and you cannot disagree 
that this face looks smoother than my baby's bottom. I've just opened up Kilowatt, the freestyle highlighter, and this one's in Trophy Wife. And I've opened it up and I basically, I don't know if it was recording or not because it stopped because I hit 20 minutes or whatever. Um, but I squealed at the size of it because it's pretty massive. I don't know why, but for some reason I thought they'd be like really small. And I think this is the one that everyone's talking about, the really yellow highlighter. Yes, it is. This is the one. Oh my God. Look at that. This is the one, guys. Look at that. Let me just open up the other one I have. It's in Mean Money and Hustler Baby. I don't want to put the trophy wife on just in case it doesn't suit me, but I'm going to have to try it for you, bruh. Okay, so here are the other two. Oh, they're totally different to each other. So this one over here is Hustle Baby, and this one over here is Mean Money. And I'm actually going to try trophy wife first, because I feel like if it's way too bright, I can kind of like simmer it down with the other two. I've got a lot on here. You ready? That's not normal. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready! <laughs> I literally wasn't ready, mate. Oh my god. Bruh, I don't, I don't even need to catch the light. I don't even need to catch the light. It's catching it for me. Yo. Yo. Okay, am I seeing things, guys? Or does this look good on my skin? Like, I thought this would be way too yellow for me. Yo, man, it's like I've added a strobe of light on my face. But then from the front, it doesn't look too much. But when I go to the side, I'm like blinded by myself. Is this too much? Am I imagining things? I didn't even put that much on, bruh. Oh, no, no, no. This is too much. This is... This is too crazy. I'm not even trying to catch the light. Yo, it just keeps catching. Let me just try the other two real quick. Let me just try Hustler Baby over here real quick and try and blend it in with this one. I keep blinding myself. This one, this one's more, more natural. Not natural, but like more, like less blindy. But I'm just trying to like, blend in my strobe of light into my skin almost with Hustler Baby. You know what, let's try Hustler Baby on my um, Cupid's section. Okay, so Hustler Baby is more of a um, everyday highlighter and more buildable. Whereas uh, Trophy Wife is like, whoa, straight away. Like you don't really need to work on the building section. Mean Money, and we'll try Mean Money under my brows. Is Mean Money a highlighter? I don't think Mean Money... Is Mean Money a highlighter? What is Mean Money? I don't think Mean Money's a highlighter, guys. Is it? Is it a powder? I don't even know, bro. What it, no, it is a highlighter. Oh, it's a very, very subtle highlighter. Oh my god, let me see that. Okay, let me just put it on. Oh yeah, it is. There's a highlighter. She was sharing a shit. It is a highlighter. Trophy wife was so freaking blinding, it's made me question the other ones. I keep blinding myself. Look at that shit. I'm actually gonna put Hustler Baby on my inner corners as well. Ooh. Ooh, wow, you can really see it pop there. Look at that. Guys, I'm shining. Guys, I have a shimmer stick to try, and this one came in my matchstick trio, and it's called Trippin'. Look at it, it's like a peachy. It's like a shiny peachy, should we try it? Might as well. Let's use this as a blusher, yeah. Oh, that is so pretty. How pretty. That is pretty. Let me just look in my big mirror again. Oh, that is so pretty. There's nothing to describe that other than pretty. And this one's in confetti. I might not put this on my face because it is... I'm gonna have to put it on my face. Okay, where am I gonna put this on my face? Um... Obviously I'm not gonna wear this look right now because my lips don't suit that, but... So you can see this damn shimmer stick. Where should I put... I'm gonna put this on top of whatever I already put on my inner corner. This is going on my inner corner, bruh. This is beautiful. God damn it. This is too pretty. Yes, this is for the inner corner. This is what I'm doing. This is going 
in my inner corner every damn day. You know why I'm excited to try this? Because I have been loving lip gloss. Hold on, let's just look at the highlight again. I have literally been loving lip gloss recently and I feel like Rihanna coming out with lip gloss is pretty much gonna get it trending like crazy because I'm pretty tired of like mattes and lip lacks and lipstick in general. I've really been into gloss, so that's what I'm happy about. Gloss Bomb, Fenty Glow. Okay, girl. By the way, I just put on a very, very like peachy pink lip liner over my lips. Well, it smells incredibly tasty. This is like a proper lip gloss, mate. It doesn't feel like I'm gonna eat and it's just gonna bugger off. It feels like it's here to stay. It's like she almost created light with this collection. That's it, ladies. This is the full look. Um, wearing a Fenty Beauty all over my face. Considering my actual skin is in pretty bad shape right now, the fact that it looks like this with makeup on top is pretty amazing. I look like one of those people who's really into skincare. But I'm not, I'm really not. I just can't stop looking at it. For God's sake, dude, quit with the vanity. But literally, it's like glistening butter. My face is like a glistening butter tub. You know what, guys? I feel like I need to wrap this video up real quick so I can go take some pictures because that's an opportunity not to be missed right now. This is the end result, but it's actually been on my face for about an hour while I've been filming. Not gonna lie, I think it looks pretty amazing. Um, and I'm actually really happy I went out and bought everything. I hope you enjoyed this first impressions video guys. I certainly did. Let me know what else you want me to try and I will see you on my next video. Till next time. Bye! Let me take a damn selfie girl. Look at it catch. The, look at it just catching thing. Yeah? Yeah, you yeah I need pictures Sid. Okay. What does my skin look like right now? Oh, blokes for you.